the historic pitch and catch. 84 touchdowns and count. Nathan Rourke is the new touchdown king in Ohio football history. Three years ago, Rourke transferred in from a JUCO school in Fort Scott, Kansas. His talent clear, but little did Ohio know the kind of person and leader they were getting. He's special, uh, just a special individual, not just a, a, a football player. Um, tremendous uh, young man and, and has shown great leadership from the moment he stepped on, on our campus and, and um, just works at improving himself and making his teammates better. That's one thing that I, I think sometimes uh, great players can do, not all of them do, but some great players make those around them better, and I think he, uh, he does that. He works hard every day, and he, and he puts so much time into this program, into this sport, uh, into his position. Um, and, I, and I know that firsthand, just knowing uh, how he's growing up, loving the game. Um, and so I know it means so much to him. Nathan has always put the team above himself. There was no talk of the record after it happened. We knew he was talented. Uh, knew he was going to have an impa impact on, 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 this, on this program. He, he has. His, his work ethic, and he is very, very humble. He does not like to talk about it. I don't bring it up to him. I don't even say congratulations. It's just, you know, it's just standard operating procedure. We come to work every day, and Nate, Nate's going to be Nate, and I'm going to be Tim, and we're going to go. But Rourke only cares about one number, 51. The number of years it's been since Ohio last won the MAC championship. I really, really want to be a part of uh, a team that wins a MAC championship um, rather than an individual accomplishments. I think when we look back, I think, you know, in, you know, five, 10, 20 years, look back on my time at OU, it'd be, you know, it'd be nice to say that I, I have that. But at the same time, I'd, I'd much rather be a part of a team that say, hey, we were the ones that got over the hump. Thomas Garbrick, WUB.